Former Miss Rhode Island Claudia Jordan goes back home to visit family. I'm here with my family, my Aunt Mary. Hi. How old are you now? 77. <laughs> When's the last time you did it? 21 years ago, my husband died. Because <laughs> <laughs> of Tanya. What's up, Tanya? Say hi to the people. Hey. You're going to be all polite now. I know. They was just talking. Don't get the filter that. I got to filter. Thin it out. You, you got to thin it out in the front. They was talking so much. And now they're being all well behaved right now. Now they're being all the family secrets. I got a whole earful today. Yes, we got so apparently we have AJ in the background. AJ, say hi. Um, apparently we have pimps in our family, right? How many pimps are in our family? How many pimps are in our family? Why do you get all the good hair jeans? Like, look at how long your hair is. I tried. This is my cousin Jessica. She just turned 30. She still looks 14. Hi. Happy birthday. Thank you. We're starting the fun. Now let's get it going. You know. Thank you. So let me see the hair. Shake that hair. Where my scissors at? I know it. Everybody wish my cousin Jessica happy 30th birthday. Thank you. Ugh, I feel old. You're not. No, no. I my cousin Sterling. I okay, I like his shirt. It's coming backwards. So how you like the car? He got my old truck. Uh, he showed me out a lot, and it's done wonders. My, my old baby. <laughs> okay, well, I'm happy. So, anyways, good to see you. He's a great dad. Everybody say what's up and and Thanks. follow. What's your IG? My Instagram is uh, Rock City Boy. Rock City Boy. And he makes good TikTok videos. All right, just out here with the family. Out here with the family. <laughs> My mother. <laughs> so AJ, hey, what's honey, up? How you doing? How you been? All right, I'm doing a lot better now. This guy cooks. Glad some, to see you. Cook some good ribs, man. I'm just tan them up. Yes, I'm talking about they're good to the bone, baby. That <laughs> secret sauce on them. Secret sauce. Oh yeah. Okay. I guess the secret can't tell what it is. No. no. <laughs> tell you what it is. I with the family in Providence. All right, y'all. Bye. It's about to cut. So let me show you a little bit about my my home state. Rhode Island is the ocean state. Um, I grew up here. Um, it's the small state in the country. The second state, the Pilgrims. Well, in the Massachusetts, the Plymouth Rock. And then they're like, oh, not enough freedom here. So let's go down to Rhode Island to start some more religion. Whatever the excuse was, that's where Roger Williams came. Betsy Ross, who made the American flag, is a cabin in Providence at her old house. So anyway, it's a place called Oakland Beach. And it's a place called Iggy's Doughboys. That's where we come and get clam cakes and chowder. And there's a little beach here. It's nothing like the beaches in the Caribbean, but you know, it's at that Atlantic Ocean. Um, it's a little cloudy today. There's little girls in the water. What is? Not where I'd be in, but okay. Where they at? Mm, they really want to be in that. Um, you know, less than a million people in this whole state. Not as much color here as I would have liked to have run up around, um, but we do have a little bit of every nationality in Providence, it's like a mini New York. Um, lots of, you know, black, Hispanic, Dominican, Puerto Rican, Latino, uh, you know, uh, Laotian, Cambodian, everything, Italian, Portuguese. Um, but outside of Providence, it's very white. Um, so I remember when I first went to LA, I'd see like a lot of black driving across. I'm like, oh my God, yes, <laughs> you know, my peoples. You know what I mean? It was like a big deal for us. Um, I know it may be taken wrong by some people, but I really don't care about strangers' feelings anymore. I'm, I'm done. Um, but that's how I felt, you know? And I remember when I moved to Atlanta, I was like, wow, like, black judges and lawyers and doctors. And it was just amazing to me. And that's really important to have representation. I know, speaking on stuff y'all already know, but it's a big deal to see that, you know? See images that are some, somewhat like you. That's really pretty. It's a lot of old money outside of Providence. Like ocean, like that's like those houses, those homes. There's an area in Newport called Ten Mile Drive where it's like historic. Um, Taylor Swift has a house there, and the Kennedys had a house, and the Vanderbilts, and all those mansions. That's what we, um, you know, some of us would have our proms there at these mansions that people used to live in, but folks can't afford to keep those places up anymore, so they like kind of tourist attractions now. Anyways, just a little backstory of where I grew up. I definitely want to use my social media so y'all can get to know me more for me instead of what the hell everybody else is saying. So that's why I get on here so much like speak for myself. Um anyways Providence, Rhode Island. Don't come here to visit during the winter time. I highly advise you not to. You gonna come on here? 
come the summertime where you actually won't be of, of, of exposure to the cold. All right, y'all, wait for these clam kids and shout out. I'll show you what that looks like when I get back on. Coming to my old apartment. We used to live here. Bayside Country Club, they call it. It sounds rich, but we were not rich. And these woods out here, my mom used to always catch us playing these woods. We had a tree house. And I remember we had a plastic bucket and it had to be my brother, not me, because I wouldn't do nothing stupid, but lit a fire, lit a fire in a plastic bucket. And we almost lit one of these trees, <laughs> this whole forest on fire. We were little, we were like probably, how old were we here? Seven, eight. So there was little streams back here. We used to play, catch turtles. Nine, my mom told me I caught a turtle with three legs and I was trying to save it. Always trying to save somebody. Captain Save a Turtle. And I remember we caught tadpoles here. I remember finding someone's Playboy magazines out here in these woods. <laughs> you always used to find us when we'd be back here because I feel like we were like way deep in here. You'd always just roll up on us. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, how did you find us in these woods? I wonder if they still have the little stream over here where we be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Well, we used to be we used to scare you. So we used to be... Aww, stream is not here anymore. I feel like it used to be over here. Oh yeah. Oh, it's the little stream we used to play in. The little stream we used to play in and catch tadpoles and turtles. Thanks for tuning in to Nine Mag TV.